I kid. Hi guys, welcome back to Beauty on Monday where we do bomb things on a Monday. Jasmine here and thank you for joining me. And guess what? I finally got a new flat iron. Applause, yes. Um, so I have been working with the same flat iron since about 2009. It's the Seydu Revolution one inch flat iron. And I will say that it's like my third Seydu and I'm just kind of wanting to try some new things. I didn't really want to spend a whole lot of money on a new flat iron. So I decided to buy one from Amazon. So the flat iron that I bought was the Lovani. The Lovani flat iron. It came in this box. It was $29.99, I think. I think with shipping, or maybe I got it on Prime, but it came out to like 34 bucks or something like that. Super cheap. Came in this really nice box. Um, shipment, you know, is also was, was pretty quick. I mean, it's Amazon. It comes with these two sort of, I think they call them um, some kind of alligator clip. So it came with two of these. It came with a thermal glove. Um, which I never use those. So I'm pretty good with my hands. And it also came with the thermal pouch for the flat iron. And ladies and gentlemen, this, my friends, is the actual flat iron. So it's turned on right now. I just finished curling my hair. So um, you'll see a little bit about how it, how it works um, as far as curling your hair. I haven't tried straightening it. Um, I will say this is super easy to work with. Super, super easy to work with in terms of curling. I was really looking for a flat iron that would be easy to curl my hair just because my hair is getting longer. It doesn't really curl that great with a curling iron and the curls last a little bit better with the flat iron. So um, as you can see, it's like ergonomically shaped. So it has like more of a curved sort of end. It goes up to 450, which I don't know why anyone would ever want to go up that high. Um, but you can see that it has the, the digital sort of temperature guide and you sort of increase the temp on this side and the power buttons there as well. There is a digital screen that tells you what the current temperature is. You can see that flashing and I still have the tape on it, the little protective tape. But I will say that it was super easy to hold. You got a swivel cord and it's so light. One of the things that I also really, really liked about this is that the tip is so pointed that you're able to really like get up on those edges. You know what I mean? I'm able to get like super, super close to my roots. Um, I didn't really take my time with this hair, but I will say that I do like the way the curl, I like the way it curls. It can curl super tight. And this is something that was a lot more difficult. So you'll see using my other flat irons, but this one I can get like my hair to curl pretty tight. And that's useful because these are all going to be gone in 24 hours. Overall, I would say I would recommend something like this. I mean, I just didn't want to spend 200 bucks on a flat iron that I don't really care about. I feel like with this one, if it breaks, if it doesn't work, I only spent 30 bucks on it. And I just, I'm, I'm very picky about things like that. So I didn't want to commit to anything. I did purchase a Babyliss at first and I hated it. I took it back. So I decided to try something cheap. So I still have my Seiju, it works perfectly fine. But for right now, I do think I'm going to be checking out and using my little Bonnie. I'll enjoy it. And if I don't like it, then I'll just give it away, whatever. Hey guys, so I'm back with freshly washed and blow dried hair. So the first thing I wanted to try when I first started out with the wand was I wanted to achieve a really loose curl, more like a wave. So it was a bit of a learning curve for me, figuring out ways to hold the wand and how much tension I should use to achieve the looks that I want. But I will say off of first glance or I first noticed that it's really light and easy to hold. I'm going to speed things up so you guys can watch how I was able to finally achieve the curl that I was going for. Enjoy.
So all in all, I do recommend maybe trying this brand. Like I said, I got it off of Amazon. It was 29 bucks. So the commitment is a little bit less as far as the money that you have to invest is concerned. These are the results. And if you guys have any questions on anything in particular, or even if you have a brand that you wanna to recommend to me, please don't forget to leave that in the comment section below and subscribe, thumbs up, like, and I will see you next week. Take care.